Okay, YouTube family, let's talk about it. It's your favorite girl. Okay, guys, so I wanted to do a quick reaction. Now, I'm gonna be honest, guys, I did not watch the video, so I do not know what the video is about, but I did visit other content creator channels where they spoke on the whole situation regarding y'all boy CJ new video titled Best Sleepover Ever. We went viral on TikTok. First of all, CJ, you damn near 40 years old. Why is you worrying about going viral? It, it, come on, CJ. It's time to grow up in the mind. It's time to goddamn grow up. Now, let's talk about this thumbnail. Child, what is really going on here in this thumbnail? Why is he even in the picture? Now, if he would have made the thumbnail about the girls, that's something different. But why he had to be in the thumbnail? Like, CJ, I don't know. You know, people are saying it's giving creep vibes. Y'all drop down to the comments. Comments are open for a discussion. If you watched the video, tell me what you thought about the video. Because I didn't watch it. I don't know what went on in there. I can only speak on what I heard. Let's just say that. Now, CJ. Now, I'm hoping you got some type of consent form from these parents. Because I just don't think these parents is going to allow their kids to be put out in the forefront where they're going to be scrutinized by other people. You know, so I don't know if CJ had a conversation with these parents to say, hey, you know, he did. He probably said, hi, I'm CJ. So cool. I got almost nine million subscribers. You know, I'm a content creator. You know, this is his line because, <laughs> you know, clearly he's not famous because he got to tell people this. You know, people should auto automatically know. But that's that's just what he has to do. He has to go ex explain what the situation is. So he probably told him all that. And he probably told him, well, I need consent for your kids to be on my channel and i'm quite sure well i'm hoping that these parents sign something saying that it's okay for these kids to be on his channel because if he did not then ugh, that's not a good look now me personally you know school just started two weeks ago i wouldn't feel comfortable for my daughter to be going to hang out, let alone spend a night out with someone she just met. Like, this is not even the middle of the year. This is not even December. You have not even been in school six months yet, and you're talking about hanging out, let alone a sleepover? But I already told you guys in a video, a video a few days ago, I said he's going to send his daughter to the school to recruit the girls so they can come back and he's going to start reliving the so cool kids moments, which again, I'm have to remind you again, CJ, it will never be nation. It will never be Leon. It will never be Jaleel. It will never be the so cool kids again. It don't matter how many times you try to bring new kids to the channel. It would just, it would never be. Now, from what I'm hearing, it was just a lot of complaining on his daughter's side, you know, is giving bullying. I don't know, guys. Again, I did not watch. So I can't exactly tell you what happened in the video. This is all allegedly. But the daughter was, you know, just being rude. Just being not only rude to her father, but being rude to the girls that came around. You know, first of all, parents, <laughs> if y'all don't know who she is... <laughs> Y'all have to pay attention to the behavior that she displays. You know, you got to be careful with the type of company your kids keep because a lot of them are not good, you know, influence. You know, people can be bad influence. Now, if you pay attention to how the father carry on and how the mother carry on, then you wouldn't want your child hanging with their daughter because more than likely the daughter is a reflection of her mother and her father together. Now, again... I was not there. I don't know exactly what happened. Again, I did not watch the video. This is why I'm doing this open video. Comments are open for discussion for you guys to have a conversation in the comment section about what you saw. I did not see it, so I don't know. But I heard it was just not a good video. It was not a good look. And, you know, you got CJ out there scrambling to put content together that he thinks that his audience is going to be tuned into. But what he has to understand that a lot of his audience is adults. And what they're doing is watching and complaining about what is going on in the video. Now, I completely lost interest in CJ content when he started being disrespectful towards royalty. I lost interest in his content when he brought Bride to Chucky. He was bringing all these people in and i definitely lost interest in his content when he brought his ghetto ass baby mama yes i said it and i'm gonna say allegedly but we already know when he brought his ghetto ass baby mama and her daughter and his daughter down there with all of that uh it just made the content just he just 
I feel their presence on the channel is just not a good look, honestly. And I have said this before. They need to go back to Gary, you know, because what people are saying is that you're putting your daughter on this YouTube channel where she's hanging out with these girls who seem like a good group of girls, but your daughter is being a bully. Now, I don't know. Again, I did not watch the video. This is all allegedly, guys. I did not watch. But from what they're saying is that it's just not a good look. It seemed like the daughter was just being mean towards the girls. And, you know, drop down in the comments. Does y'all see all of this transpire? Drop down in the comments. What do y'all think about CJ So Cool latest video? And I'm going to say this again. They need to go back. They need to go back to Gary. Okay? Nobody wants to tune in to your content, CJ, and watch this kind of behavior. Nobody wants to see that. All the people that's in the comments, all of those bots and shit, lying and shit, they, they got, it, it got to stop. <laughs> Everybody's so happy, bride of Chucky back. Talking about they happy because she back. Child, bye. Those are bots. Those are not real people in the comments. Nobody is happy that she's back. She's another one. She's displaying negativity as well. All she do is sit around in the goddamn house when she was real, when she was first introduced to the channel. What did she do? Nothing. And what is she doing now? Nothing. For what I'm hearing, the kids been complaining about her food. I've been saying a long time ago she can't cook. You can tell how it look. You can tell how it look. It looked like a plate of dog food. Of course she can't goddamn cook. Look how she walk around. We ain't gonna talk about that poodle doll here. So we already know. So saying that you're happy because your back stop lying. This whole situation is a joke and it's sad. It's this is a, a sad situation. And he's not opening his opening up his eyes to see what the picture is really is. He's so obsessed with the money. So he's willing to put out anything. He don't care. He just wants you guys to watch it. And it's sad. He's not realizing it's ruining his image. The stuff that he's putting out is just sad. We understand it would never be that situation with you and Royalty again. But it's other ways that you could have put out content that is positivity to society. Yes, when I do my reactions, it's comical because it's funny as hell. But somebody needs to tell you. Apparently, the people around you not telling you. Apparently, they don't care. But, you know, again, guys, comments are open for a discussion. What do y'all think about this whole situation and this video? What do y'all think about this new video that CJ put out? What about these girls? Now, again, I didn't watch it, y'all, so I don't know what happened. I just can't. I, I just can't do it. Until the next video.